What did we trade? Fish, fish is salty. Huh? Pearls. Pearls, very good. There we go. Pearls, folks, in uh, all over the Europe, all over the world. What were you? Where are you from? In uh, Los Angeles, U.S. What, before you became American, what were you? The family from Russia, I think. Russia. Yes. Before you became Russia, the state of Russia, what were you? I don't know. Any idea? We were Bedouins. We became later on settlers. We became UAE. Arabs, right? Uh, what were you? Any idea? Indian. Indian? I so am you, Indian. From I, India? From India. Oh, but we call you, that's the borders, flags, national anthem, yeah. passport, visa. Thanks to the British. <laughs> Seriously, this was not a part. If you look at the old map, there was no countries with flags and national anthems. We did this to ourselves. So therefore, what were you? The human race were divided between Vikings, Celtics, Aztecs, Mongols. You with me? Red Indian, Aboriginals. Today we are I am. Who are you? A human being. When we came here, we wanted water, but there was no water. We found pearls. In all over the world, we found what? Gold, diamonds especially Africa. We cleaned it out and we left it with nothing. <laughs> Seriously, you're talking about politics. We left them with no water, drinking water, and no food to eat. Today, all over the world, we still the same thing. We're fighting over oil. So we call it Sunni and Shiite in Iraq. But really, the true principle of human being survival is resources. Either water we live, without water nothing lives, or either we find a resource, which is gold, diamonds, or coal, or what, pearls, and we bring water from somewhere. So we settled here and we brought water from the mountains. We built our uh, houses from tents, it's called goat hair. And then we built our houses from Arish, which is there, we modified it. Uh, Barasti from the palm tree front. And then we said, oh, you know what, we gotta settle here because this is good. Look at the boats keep coming in. You can't just uh, go anywhere, might as well, there's goods. Everybody send us the best boats to this region, folks, to this port right here in front of you, this creek, came boats full of goods from all over the world, from the kings and the queens and the emperors, because they wanted the best pair you have. The queens and the emperors, they used to wear pearls, they used to love them. So how do you convince me to give you what I have? You send me a boat full of the best of the best. So I trade with you. I take from you from India. You used to have, by the way, kings in India. Then I take from you from Thailand. I take from you from China, and I give each other out. You know that this is Dubai today? 1,800 boats in the creek, in and out every month. We don't make anything. We just buy from people and sell people. Seriously, we don't make anything. It's desert. Then Jabal Ali port, 1,351 containers every hour. Can you believe this? We are number six port or four in the world. We make nothing. <laughs> China makes stuff. So therefore, they're going to ship it. We make nothing. But we are also number four port in the world, or six sometimes, it depends. Same thing today, guess what? Dubai Mall. Everybody comes to go to Dubai Mall. We have 120 countries' products inside our franchises in one mall. You can come to Dubai Mall and buy from all over the world without traveling all over the world. Cool? Idea of freedom of trade, and this is how it all started. Guess what? Today it is what it is, Dubai. In 1970s, we lived in these houses, made from corals, with absolutely zero water, sewer, and what? Electricity. Can you believe it? The only way we survived is what it was corals. Because corals are here from the sea, otherwise what can you build from the sand? Oh. When the wind blows through the corals, the corals are porous. They let breeze go inside, but guess what? No mosquitoes, no bugs, no sand. Now we have a life to live inside what we call shade. But with what? 120 degrees temperature, that's very tough. But we survived. If I asked you to come here 1920, and I said, please stick around for 40 years. Life will get better, I promise you. <laughs> would you stick around? I wouldn't have believed it. No way, right? Yeah. You will just leave. Yeah. Folks, we stayed here from 1787. Are you with me? Yeah. Bedouins came here and settled. Today we are called Dubai. Today we are called UAE. Bunch of Bedouins who settled and we became a nation. Actually, we are becoming a great nation now. Thanks to the collaboration of humanity, we welcome everybody to come and do in our country, just like you are family. We don't need to give you a passport and a visa. Yeah, we have to. But we don't need to give you a citizenship that says what? You are African-American. You are Indian-British. No, Indian, no. Indian-Indian, 100%. <laughs> Persian? 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 Iranian. Oh. Yes. Why do we have to have two titles? And lately, we have Muslim, Arab, something. American or British, whatever. Do we have Muslim now in between? Is there Christian or Jewish? Do we? 
It is really seriously a little bit uncivilized, this thing with titling each other. At the end of the day, who came here is just human being who wanted to trade and we traded. Today you come to buy from Dubai more, thank you very much, spend your money. Cool? Why not? Any questions? Nasif, I have a question. Please. Um, a lot of our group here, in fact most of them are, are journalists, um, and we're standing right next to the Journalists Association, um, and sorts of people taking pictures. Can you talk a little bit about how is it like to be a journalist in Dubai? What is the importance of journalism to Freedom the UAE? Freedom of speech is okay, folks. Let's not beat around the bush. Ask me straight questions. That's fine. But don't insult anybody. Don't call somebody something because you think so. And if you do something wrong, we're not going to hear, go say, Dominique Swartz can, slept with the maid or attacked her. But then, oh my God, he's the head of the central bank. Just be harsh about it. Give her some money, shut her up. Why? He humiliated the lady, he humiliated the guy. What's the point? No, talk about things that make people better. You with me? What's the point of always talking about negative, exposing people's mistakes? We all make mistakes. You don't want everybody to uh, look at your dirty laundry. So journalism at its best is honest reporting, good true reporting, and here you are welcome. So we have, this is actually association of journalists from all over the world. Uh, this uh, village of 56 homes, originally just simply come and utilize the house for whatever you want. Good? So we have journalism and it's welcome, but please don't talk uh, nonsense and don't talk bad about somebody.